it is eight o'clock in the morning and here I am at Ardley Car Boot and I've already had to take a layer off because it is absolutely boiling and it's only eight o'clock in the morning so I'm gonna go and find some bargains hopefully I'm loaded down with all this stuff and it's hurting my wrist so I'm leaving. So here's a quick recap of what I found at the car boot. I found this old-fashioned barometer. Um, it was quite 70s, I don't know, but it's quite cool, quite vintage. As you can see, it was a pound, um, so I'm sure somebody would want that. I'm going to aim for about 12, I reckon, on that one. It's in the baskets that I got. <laughs> I got two um, embroidery hoops, which I'm going to try and make some macrame out of for myself. Um, I picked up this bowl. It was 20p. It's quite pretty and it goes with my decor, as you can see. It's all blue. <laughs> but on the bottom was this, I don't know, gin? Jik? No, but it looked kind of Japanese, Chinese writing. And I've just seen so many stories recently in the news about little Japanese vases who like get loads of money for like £3,000 or something. So I thought, oh, for 20p I'll take a punt and if not I can put it in my living room. So that's that one. And also from the 20p pot, there's this cute little glass that I'm going to use as a vase myself. And this little bowl. 
It's quite cute and it's got a name on it, which is when it wants to focus. <laughs> Royal Tudor Ware. Um, Baker Brev Stoke on, Stoke on Trent. So you never know. It's a little sugar bowl. That's quite cute. <coughs> and I found this kitchen roll holder for 50p and because everything's going natural and woody and hippie boho I thought well that might sell even if it's only for about seven quid it's worth investment for 50p and then also on the 20p stall I found these which after seeing Andrea's posts on Instagram about her selling hers I thought well it's worth a 20p punt. I don't know about the flash, but it doesn't go with these ones, obviously, but it might fetch something or other. But these have got a digital top, but well, not that one. So who knows? They might sell as well. And then in a little box that said free on it, which is one of my favourite words, um, there was these little... Uh, Toy Story glasses with the little alien and little buzz so I picked them up because you never know they might make something and then there was a Muppets mug so can't go wrong with that it was free so even if I just keep it myself but and then I found this lighting bar thing but I'm going to keep that for myself so I can save electric in the hallway so Thanks a lot. Here is the first dress that I found. Oh no, focus, focus. Um, it's got these little pearly bits on the top. And normally you find that there's some missing, but these are all there, so that's great. It's only from uh, Sainsbury's, but it's quite sweet. And it's got these long sort of sleeves, I don't know, but that was from the 50p stall, so. I'll try and aim for about 11 or 12 for that one. Here is a cute little blue skirt that I found. Um, brand new with tags. Wore 16 down to 10. Um, but I got that for a pound. So I'm going to aim for about 10 on that. I'm going to take that £10 sticker off <laughs> and aim for 10. Here's another little t-shirt from that 50p rail. Um, doesn't look you know too impressive but it is from monsoon so don't know if that's going to make seven or eight something like that it's very botanical um i can't remember what size it was but yeah it's 12 so quite a universal size so we'll see what happens with that one this is such a cute little outfit for a beach for a little kid with the little ring uh, floaty bits in the middle but it's all stripy it reminds me of like the 1920s but I'll pop that on I don't know about eight or nine or I'll have a look on see what they're going for at the moment but that was worth 50p so gotta have a go this is also a piece from the 50p store it doesn't look that great on camera but it's actually really nice denim um, it, I thought it was a children's dress actually, but it's not. It's a sh lady's shirt, but so. But anyway, I like it. I might actually keep it. Um, we'll see. But and the brand is Cache Cache Belgium Design. Never heard of him, but I'll research that and see what it's what. And if it's not worth a lot, then I'm gonna keep that. So. <laughs> Here's a lady's dress that I found, um, Dorothy Perkins. It's a size 8. It won't even fit on my mannequin, so that's how small it is. But uh, it could be done for summer, office, you know, wedding, etc. So I'll try for about 12 to 14 on that one. Here is a men's jumper. It is by Crosshatch, which I've never heard of. Um, it looks quite, you know, good quality and it's got this little tag thing here, crosshatch, dark series, ooh. But 
but uh, I'll do some research on that and see what that is worth but oh come on but that was in the 50p pile again so I was loving that stall here's a shirt that I found on the 50p stall um, it's a men's shirt stripey fine but it's by Bowden and I thought Bowden was just ladies clothes but there we go lesson learned so do a little research on that see how much that is worth hopefully it may be hopefully 16 for that one we'll try anyway here's a cute little dress it's from next and it's got this cute little peter pan collar on it with little beads on it it's so cute uh i would keep it but it's a size 10 so it's not gonna fit me i'm a 12 to 14 so that's a shame but someone will want it hopefully for some money that was from the 50p store as well. Here's a lady's skirt, which I sh wasn't sure about because of the name, but it's quite funky. It's a pattern like universe connected or something, but Neon Rose. It's a 14. Never heard of them, but we'll try, see what we can get. And guess what? It was 50p! This is the last piece that I found on the end of the rail. It's a little uh, tank top, is that what you call it? And it looks so sort of 60s, I don't know, vintage anyway. It's from CNA, so uh, it's definitely vintage in that terms because uh, they're not open anymore. So, uh, well, made in Korea. So we'll see. This kind of look is in with the young hip group, so we'll see what we can get. Here's just a little bit I wanted to put in the end of the video because I did say that I brought those hoops to uh, make macrame out of and that's what I've done. So I just wanted to show you quickly. So all you need is a hoop and some string and you're well away. <laughs>